so pretty. You are beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You look so good when you, you walk guys, in. I just go. Oh, oh, I what? know, but then I sit there and look in the. In but the, then we look at ourselves and we the, go. Yeah, and I'm nope. like, oh, my nose peak is getting right? worse as uh-huh. I get older. The military hairstyle, just pulling it back for 12 years, is literally balding me. <laughs> I'm doing myself a disservice. Sorry, this is, sorry, this is the broettes. Yeah. Drinking broettes. Drinking broettes. How are you? Hi, guys. Episode Trace. Trace. I know. <laughs> so this international. This is the point in my podcast career, and I've done it with three other podcasts, where I just go, this is like, by the third or fourth show beginning, beginning of a podcast, I'm like, who the fuck am I? Yeah. Why the? Why would anyone want to listen? to Like, I have this like thing. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna talk. Too. Like, who? Who cares what I have to say? Right? Like, who? The, who am I? What credentials do I have? No, to I tell you about thing. waxing your butthole, right? <laughs> but here we are. So we have the studio, but we um have recently been added to the. Well, I was on the drinking broettes a while ago from Range Fifteen. You were recently added. Yeah. And we, first of all, the girls in the drinking broettes are hardcore badass, oh, yeah. badass honest i love that so upfront so upfront um that's how you that's what you want though like in my friends i want very honest friends yeah. who are not going to sugarcoat things oh dude if you look at the comments after somebody asks or asks yeah. you know any kind of advice people they will shoot you straight and it's kind of this safe place um for girls so they're talking about their boyfriends who are in drinking bros but can't see their Uh drinking broettes because you have to be you know accepted so we're gonna try and be a little bit of a voice for you guys um today we kind of went through we're not going to say names or anything but we went through and kind of browsed and saw what you guys were talking about these are all things i talk about with my girlfriends what you want to know like all yeah all the time because so when I first moved out here, so I lived in California before, right? Okay. And me I, too. Ha- I loved it. Not and to brag, uh, me too. I had Brenda. Brenda was my lady. Okay. okay. Brenda waxed my bits constantly. Okay. She was the best. Once right. a month, I went to her. She knew everything about me. Grant, she saw my bits. Like, she saw me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. She, we were She's very, like, oh, we're going to have to turn over today. <laughs> we were going to be really good friends. Right. Actually, it got to the point to where... There was times, too, where I've had her booked out for a while, and I started my period, and I was like, oh, my God. You know, so I went there, and I said, hey, like, just want to let you know. I'm on my period. I can, like, jet out and turn around. Like, I don't know how this works, because I never had, I never right. got waxed much before. And she was I like. I always just don't, but She yeah. just moved my tampon around. She's like, girl, I got you. Now, I, I apparently, I think that's rare. Yeah. But apparently, I'm very, like, you clean, found, and she like, loved me. You found a, a down-ass bitch. But I think yeah. the. Like rule of thumb is to like not go, go. after a run. What I mean, it was like not oh, go. No, like, you gotta be clean. You know what I mean? You gotta be clean. You gotta be make it easy for them. But at the same time, listen, if you gotta, yeah, I think that was mine. Happened the day like of like that and morning, that was and cool I was kind of like, you I, gave you gave ever heads up a call. Yeah, I was like, hey, listen, here's the, the deal. Too, what do you want me to do? Yeah, they give you the opportunity to go to the bathroom ahead of time. And when they say like, hey, do you need to go to the bathroom? Typically, it's like, hey, do you need to clean your vagina? Do you need to fucking clean up? Are you like <laughs> real juicy before? Are you like, having a I juicy just week? Explore it. <laughs> yeah, but I, the reason why I had to start getting waxed is well for two reasons. One, I got really bad ingrown hairs, and really bad just uh, what's it called? Razor burn. Razor yeah, burn. Like get... razor bumps. It happened like the minute I was in my thirties. Like everything just. Like, I was like, where'd you come from? Oh, everything just falls apart. Yeah, it was terrible. And it's it was the beginning really of the end. Yeah. You know, wearing shorts constantly in California. Oh, yeah. And having the bumps all over the back of my legs. No, I know. It was really embarrassing. And then not cute. once I started dating my husband, we were long distance. So I would see him once a month. So it worked out perfectly. Perfect. You could be hairy, hairy, hairy. Right? Wax it. And clean as a smooth for him. I was going to say clean baby. Clean as a whistle? I was going <laughs> to say baby, but that's gross, I mean, right? You were clean as a baby <laughs> for him. Ew. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, you were you were yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. You were smooth. As, I was smooth. I was bald as you an were bald eagle. And smooth as an as a as an appropriately aged, aged woman. woman. Yep. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah. So have you got it done before? Yeah, definitely. Have you? And I've been I've gone through periods where I'm really uh, good with it. Uh-huh. Upkeep. And then Consistent. I'll go through, yeah, and then I'll go through things where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, like, shave, or I'm going to go Luscious Forest. Oh, there you I'm go. Or I'm going to just, but 
you know, really rule of, th I mean, really, you should be waxing. I, you know what? Teach their own, Teach right? Teach their own. But like, but look, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we recommend. The first time it probably is going to hurt a little. Second or third, like, okay, obviously when they get around the lips is where it hurts sure. for me. Sure. But my girl would hold, hold it down. She would hold it down and pull it. Oh yeah. So that made it, that makes she's it good. so much better. Oh, she's, she's good. so good. And she never put me in any of the weird positions. Apparently there's some people when they do your butthole, they put you in like doggy style and have you like bend over or they put you in like the baby style where like your feet are over your head and they I've have you turned hold them back. I've done the turnover that's awkward it is awkward all she has me do is turn to the side oh nice and just lift the butt that's it I feel Brenda right Brenda can we move her here <laughs> I wish I could can she be on the payroll <laughs> so let's get Brenda out Listen, here we'll get we her a nice little <laughs> cottage <laughs> In She's downtown amazing. Wilmington. <laughs> I love her. I miss her so much. All I know is that I went to like six places out in North Carolina here, and they all were horrific. Mm -hmm. Horrific. To the point to where I do it myself. Okay. In my own bathroom. Okay. My poor husband's like, do I you guess you're need, waxing today. Do you need help? Yeah. And do then you. he'll be like, huh. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Like, <laughs> oh my God. I know. But hey, look, good for you, and you're saving money, and yeah. you can kind of do it to your liking uh, yeah but um it is I, I mean i prefer to get it done in person by someone else not myself here's what i highly recommend getting on some kind of schedule whether it's mm -hmm. once a month yeah i mean every two weeks then you're you're crazy but if you're once a month you know or whenever you need and lip and what uh lip waxing oh i've never done that what do you do? Nothing? I have, okay, so I have a really hairy face. Like, yeah, me peach too. fuzzy. Yeah. and Not I me too, but I mean, I have the normal. Yeah, I have a lot of peach fuzz. And do you razor it? I, when I was younger, God, this is so embarrassing to admit, but I'll admit it. Hey, like, let's do it. We're listen, in the broettes. This is I, how they roll, dude. We got to represent. When I was represent. younger, I was so embarrassed of any hair that I had in my body. So right. like underneath my belly button, I shaved it. Sure. I shaved my metaphorical mustache, which was just peach fuzz. Okay. I used to shave in between my eyebrows. Oh. oh my gosh. I used to even try to shave around my eyebrows. <sighs> I know. Uh, this is like hurting my soul. Right? I, okay. My mom didn't teach it. Like, my mom was like, oh no. no. I know people that, yeah, they know the, those little razors that they sell you. Like, hey, you can just take off your hair. Yeah. It's, that's shaving, by the way. Yeah. Don't think I, that it's not I know. shaving. I but did anyway. It. I, so I did that yeah, all. Yeah. So my whole like, so for a while I was just always shaving the mustache. Right, so I'm right, like, right. I'm like a dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just start bleaching it. Honestly, nice for because my you hair was bleached anyway. Though. Yeah, just but everyone do, needs to know that they have a mustache. Like, oh, I do don't dermaplaning think now. That you're like you're not the one lady that doesn't have one. True. You have a little something. Yeah. So bleaching and, or waxing is just something that we all. It, it's life changing. Yeah. We're recommending. And even in like you don't you might not notice it dead on, but if you like turn Ooh, a different light lights to the side, is I'll notice little ones on my face, and I'll be like, wait, 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 wait a second. Oh yeah, I've got some whiskers today. I've got a few dark hairs on my chin. Yep, that I've had to pluck. Where I'm like, who who are you? Again, where I, the fuck did you come from? I think Get a lot off of my face! Do. <laughs> Unless you are like white, white, white. Uh, I think like you know Irish yeah. and Dutch or something, just like white, white, white. I think that most people have a little bit. Yeah. Um, and we just need to talk about, you know what? I, When I am looking for a friend, mm -hmm. which I still am, but I think we're going to be good friends. <laughs> but I always say, like, are you going to be my chin plucker? Oh, like, my gosh. Yes. If I get in a coma, do not <laughs> let me coma or something bad in the hospital. I need you to come in in the night. Yes. Like in secret and, and just like pluck all the things that's and, and so see, smart so I need nobody that. knows that i have a full-on mustache and, yeah. and goatee okay <laughs> because can you imagine i know how long it would be for months and your husband walks your in husband's not gonna do he's it like, who's this man yeah exactly <laughs> What's oh, long hair? what happened to her she got a disease where she's growing oh hair on her God. face no uh, no that's it's just always normal like that. life i've you just, just always brought i have a car tweezer because you know you catch yes. a light sometimes oh. you're like oh you know what? That's here. so smart because you know how many times I've caught myself looking in the in the mirror and I went, it's no, different. there's no way that's on my face. It's different because I, and I do myself a disservice, that's what I was going to say before this, is I have my light in my bathroom set up or where uh -huh. I do my makeup, just a glowing, yes. gorgeous, perfectly lit makeup mirror. 
And okay. then when I get out into the world, it's a lot different. It's a lot oh, more it harsh. Is. Yes. Reality is going to be harsh. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not all going to be candlelit, you know, beautiful Don't glow. Don't you wish it was like ring lights and you then just you carry just with get you everywhere? Brought right back down to size, right? Yeah. Like we're like, oh, we look so pretty. We catch. Oh, God. I know. I what is that? I saw gl- a glimpse of it. I know. Yeah. You know what? Like, I almost went to marry this dude. He was one, like one of my first boyfriends. So like I don't I know love if how it's casual because, that is. I know no, but listen, no, it's because of random Mary. hair though. Um, so I don't know how it is, but I I don't know if it's because all the sports bras or all the packs and everything that I've carried. But I've gotten like a few little like darker hairs, not like um, nothing thick or anything, but a few darker hairs like on my chest, sure, like upper chest. I remember one time we were at Six Flags and he was like, he went Tiff, come here for a second, and I was like okay, and he took the hair and plucked it off like my chest when I was wearing a tank top, and I went. I, I love, love you. you. See, I was like, I love you. He wasn't grossed out by it. He acted completely he just said, normal. Here, yeah. He hooked me up. He did it away from my family See? and friends. I was like, I love that's you your so coma much. tweezer bitch right there. Right? Like, well, he wasn't doing it. We don't talk anymore. No, I know. But <laughs> no, like, but I need to find my the girl version of that. I think that's what we need to be for each other. Yeah, I agree. And I think like that's the level of closeness we're gonna. I'll be. help you out. I'll that, listen. Like, I'll carry a tweezer around, literally in my purse the- for you, and I'll be like. If any moment, I'll be like, Jess, hey, let's, like, I need Jess, let's go to the bathroom really quick. And then I'll be like, girl, right. you got one right here. Check me. Yes, <laughs> check me. Get the exact light and everything. And then if I am in the coma or hospital, you have to be like, I just need a minute with a minute, her yeah. alone. Oh, absolutely. Because you're so, like, distraught. Act, like, really distraught yes. about it. I'm a good actress. I'll do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you could be like, I just need a minute alone with my friend. Yeah. Right. Oh, Get them all. You. I'm good now. And just leave yeah. into the night. Um, Listen, you look fabulous. You look, you'll have a good glow. Yeah, you look, you'll have paint, no hair yeah, yeah. out of like they anywhere. They show them like doing the nails and yeah. like doing the hair. Fuck that. Yeah. I need the browser history cleared. <laughs> Porn history cleared. Yeah, and I smart. need some tweezers. You know, that's probably the only thing that I always would worry about being out in the field for like a while. Like in the military yeah. is I was like, what, uh, what am I going to do? Because I've, lo- I've brought tweezers out before and I've lost them. And no joke, there's been Dude. times where I've been offered to go on shows like Naked and Afraid and uh, Alone and uh, like Kicking and Screaming, like all these survival shows. And I'm out there like in my head, I'm like, I could do it. But the thing that I'm most nervous about is like, wait, what's going to happen to the upkeep of my facial yeah. hair when I'm out there? So they, they let you bring two Isn't things, right? And you go... Tweezer, uh, the guy, yeah, my, and a fire my teammates starter. like, hey, what'd you bring? And yeah. I'm like, I brought a tweezer. <laughs> They're this like, this is great, bring grown great. hairs, and this rain. is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Random gin hairs, like, yeah, shoes and tweezers. But that's isn't that all funny? I that's, all, that's honestly what I thought about. I wasn't worried about any like surviving or anything. I was just worried about, yeah. Wait, hey, how hey. would I maintain myself? And could people see that on television? Because I that's can't fill in my eyebrows. Like, what the? <laughs> I can't do that. Luckily, my eyebrows are pretty thick. What's the um? What's the rating that they give you on the naked and afraid? Yeah, they give you your it's PSR. Like PSR. Yeah, your PSR rating, and that's real, right? No, that's it's what? so yeah. So they had me go. So I went through a big majority of that process before I told them no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, and the Air Force even like approved for me to go. I almost had enough leave, but they were going to give me some extra days. But they literally had a survival expert call me right. Um, and I remember I was in Vegas at the time going to party that weekend with my friends. So Perfect. he was calling me on the phone and he was like, Hey, do you have a few minutes? I'm going to ask you a bunch of these questions. And he asks you very specific survival scenario questions. Like, Hey, if you were in this scenario, what would you do? Hey, if you needed to collect water, how would you do it? And without A, B or C things. And, uh, I remember at the end of our conversation, like he ended up being really talkative with me and telling me that his daughter was in their survival. And I kind of remind him of his daughter and he loves this stuff. And he asked me what my background was. And I told him, basically, like, I do this for a living. And he goes, I have to tell you. He's like, normally, we don't tell you guys your ratings yet. But I have to tell you, you're the highest rating that we've had so far. You got, like, of well, one question, I got, like. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. There was five answers. I didn't get one of them. You know what I mean? One of yeah, the five. Yeah. But everything else I got right. He goes, that was awesome. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. Like, yeah. I was happy. Which also, at the same time, I was kind of like, well, that's how it should be. Right. Because if we teach this. But for a show, you need you need different levels. Yeah. No, um, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the thing I think I was afraid of, is they were going to put me with a dude, right? Yeah. So I know how sh- TV shows are, and they like drama. Right. So 
they were like, hey, you're an attractive woman. And they were asking me these things too. Like, what would happen if we put you with a cute guy? And I'm like, nothing. Nothing. He better be able to fucking hold his own because yeah, I'm going to leave his ass. Exactly. Yeah. And I think they were maybe mm-hmm. tossing that around to be like, hey, just let you know, we're probably going to do that. And he's probably really going to suck. Yeah. So later on, I just told him I wasn't going to do it because... I didn't want to be naked on television, especially still being in the military. And I don't want, I know it's not sexual in any way yeah. at all, but that was the last thing I wanted was, you know, like students and like future seer guys or even the guys I work with to be like, oh, there's Tiffany's ass yeah. on television. Yeah. You know, because mm-hmm. someone will always take it the wrong way. And they actually, I still have the voicemail from the dude, the producer. He offered me my own show. Yes. He offered me my own show to do and i would be the survival on expert. what channel is it it was discovery okay he offered me my own show and said hey i got a great idea for a show for you you will be the survival expert he's like you would take out intermediate men and men only because they think that di- that dynamic yeah, would yeah, be yeah. really fun to watch who don't know anything about survival yes. and you would just be teaching them and by the way you're fully clothed <laughs> i was just kind of like so what you were like no well i never really kind of got back great, to them but yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. i figured if they really wanted they would keep hit hit me up but i got to a point where i was becoming a test parachutist and yeah. i was going through all this upgrade training and just super busy and i didn't know where my career was gonna go yeah and i was getting hit up too for like some specialized positions where you couldn't really be on social media or do stuff like that so i was keeping it available okay for that. okay okay and then well, once good. i get picked up for that i got on instagram <laughs> And you're like, I'll take care of this. I was like, I'll just. Thanks so much. I'll get much. on social media now. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just was get more viewers would, than you ever have. Right? Discovery. I would for sure get waxed before I would go on that. Absolutely. Oh, 100% all day Because even the blur is going to move a little bit. Mm-hmm. Catch a catch a patch of Everything. hair. Arm, have no. you got your armpits waxed? I don't. Do you? That was the worst one. It's just so easy to what shave. What do you mean? Oh, it is. So I just There was one don't. time they were just grown out and I figured why, why not? not? That hurt worse than anything. Oh yes. By far. Oh yes. And the lip, I will say the lip hurts so bad. Every time you say lip, I think you're thinking I'm thinking of vagina lip. Here's the <laughs> I don't know Every why. time you say that, it makes me <laughs> But wait, every time you say <laughs> vagina lip, it makes me think like of a- like a long time ago, we were talking about girls. I was with like a group of guys, but we were like, we we're all in like early, early 20s where the guys don't quite know. The yeah. girls don't know quite how to do everything. Yes. No one's on a routine or whatever. And they're like, yeah, I like full, like full bush. And uh, and you're like, yeah, I guess. But like, they're like, we're, we're like, do you like when the hair's inside? And they're mm-hmm. like, what do you mean? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So like they had only been with girls that like did shave, maybe not all of it, but okay, got so they the like, had, like inside. A strip and yeah. Like, or, okay. So at least got the inside yeah. hairs because that can be a little bit. And they were like, "What do you mean? What do you mean hairs on the inside?" And you're like, "Oh, sweetie. Okay. Well, then like- you haven't been with someone with a full bush. So Let's calm educate down. You. Yeah. So <laughs> we're like, you think you know, but anyways. So every time you say that, I think of this one guy that was like, "What do you mean Wait, on the inside?" Mean? Like where, horrified, where inside? Horrified, where inside? What do you he mean? He probably checked his penis. Probably and like looked inside, inside his pee hole. The hole, yeah. He probably looked inside his pee hole. And was like, do I have hairs inside my? What do you mean hole? inside? Inside the what's lips, going bro. on? And believe me, <laughs> girls know at least to do that shit. Oh yeah. At the very least, you're gonna get the inner inside. Sure. Listen, we want you playing down there. So come we're on, gonna do it. Come on, come okay? on. Exactly. We want to make it inviting. We're not trying to fucking scare you no. off, dude. Yeah. Whatever you like is usually what the girls are going to do. So if you go, I like full bush, that's what they're going to do. There you, you like, go. I mean, it'd be annoying if your husband was like, I like you clean, bald, oh, not one stitch of hair. It'd be uh, hard. That would I be feel, hard. But look, I have like a. I do like landing strip. Yeah, most those are of the cool. Time. Yeah, I have a. I don't know. I'm trying to think what it's called. Like, my husband likes anything. Yeah. And I and I feel like all the guys I've always been with has liked yeah. everything. So to me, I feel like if a guy likes just bald, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd probably be a little bit like, ah, um, what are you into? Yeah, what then else? Then you'd have to check that history. Yes. That browser history. That would creep me out maybe a little bit. Especially if he was so adamant where if you were not perfectly clean, shaved, smooth, and he wouldn't be intimate with you, mm-hmm. I'd be like, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> this is mm-hmm. interesting. There's something else yeah. going on there. Yeah. 
So we will. So we, like I said, we went on to the drinking yeah. bros. We oh. are members now. We are going to start know, posting there. Thanks for adding us. Thank you guys. <laughs> We hope that, like I said, we want to do you guys justice in that we want to be honest about stuff the way that yeah. you guys are. We want to be, you know, uh, no Listen, holding no, no punches. Holding back, yeah. We're not sugarcoating anything. Anything that we either ask you guys to send us, we will absolutely say about ourselves. Oh, and easily. That's yeah. sort of the point. So if guys want to listen, you might learn something, but... We're not talking specifically to you, mm -hmm. but hey. You might learn a lot. You might learn a lot. <laughs> and then if there's a drinking road, it's like, oh, never listen to two chicks. Go, you know. Yeah. You can get out of here and suck some guy's dick in <laughs> private or whatever you do. But I was waiting for you to say something like that. I was like, I Look, hope she does. If you have a problem with watching two girls, hmm. I don't know. If we labeled it two girls, one cup, they, they definitely would watch two it. Two girls, one mic. <laughs> I did want to do, but I feel like there has to be that name, right? There has or to be. Or I think that a guy's done it. I think I'm it sure maybe they have. Bill Burr. Why would I not be surprised? It's Bill Burr's one. Two bears, one mic. Something. That's They're what doing it was whatever. Or something, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to get to some sponsors and then yeah. we will kind of delve into like botox couple topics world. that we saw yeah, yeah that you guys were asking and then we, we kind of want to yeah. get into the conversation with you so we aren't going to say again names or anything no. that anyone said specifically until we get more going with this podcast we are going to ask you know you guys to send us stuff that you want us to talk about say if you want us to say your name or not and mm -hmm. we can kind of go from there but for right now we're not out in anybody without no. them knowing it because you guys talk about safe with some, us. We're vaults. Yeah. <laughs> you guys talk about some gnarly shit. I love it. I am a vault and the key is four glasses of wine to that vault. Uh, really? No, I'm joking. The key joking. is up my ass <laughs> so far of it. No one can get it. So no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So not no amount of alcohol can open your val no. vault. Good for you. Maybe a colonoscopy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because she keeps the secrets in her butt. Is in that what butt. you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so far great. <laughs> great. So first sponsor, Ghost. They love Ghostbed. Ghostbed.com yeah. forward slash drinking bros loves when we go straight from something like buttholes uh -huh. right into their the sponsor. Beds. Yeah, they like to have. Listen, your butt lays on the beds. Yeah. Gotta be comfortable. Not the hole. And not the, the hole. hole. I mean, well, it depends on Look, what sexual position that you're it using. It depends what you're doing. If you can get that butthole to actually touch the bed you're doing it right mm -hmm. you're doing life right yeah. and we're doing it wrong but anyways ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros do you have it pulled up over there i'm having a quick problem with it oh do no you have ghost bed on yours no but um do they have the spinning wheel steel so you guys if you go to oh holiday sale guys 50% off Seriously. an adjustable base, which that is the most expensive thing they have on there. So 50% off, this is the time to get the base. And the base is a life changer. Dude, that looks so comfortable. Right? Watching TV in bed, which I love to do. Yeah. I just started a new crime documentary, so I'm in oh, bed Oh, that's awesome. So they have the, time. the adjustable base where you can, it looks like a little wave. Yes, yeah, so you can put your feet up. Dude. You can put your back up. You can go one the other. I bet this was so much cheaper than the Tempur-Pedic one I bought myself for it is. <laughs> when I got divorced. And it's better. This one has USB ports. It has what? like a plug. Yeah. So well, this one says save a thousand if you snag the bundle. So that's pretty legit. Yeah. If you get a bundle. So if you're bundling any type of thing. And then uh, so this wheel that they have on here now, they have 50% off the adjustable base, free shipping, $200 off a mattress. So just spinning that wheel when you go to the site, you could win all kinds of stuff. But just in general, if you are first responder or military, you get 15% off. That's just across That's awesome. the board yeah. all the time. And they do um, no interest monthly. So you can kind of knock it down to, I think it's, depending on what you get, it can be like $36 a month to $80 a month if you're getting like a really big purchase. But anyway, there's no excuse basically yeah. to have a good bed no, at I this agree. point. You know when they no love? No interest? Yeah. They literally just asked me on this website, they just chatted with me and said, hey, how'd you sleep last night? I know, night? I love that. Where it pops up. Yeah, what if I was like, I slept like shit, yeah, I need your bed What are you going to do about a ghost bed? They will do something about it, by the way. I know. They're fucking awesome. cool as shit over there, too. They let us do any kind of read we want. 
they um well it seems like they have a great personality then yeah they're really cool and they're in the community and they get it and uh they're here for us and little like i said little dum-dums like me civilian um we call it in the military sometimes they call them silly villains like silly villains yeah like civilians like we're just so silly villains we're just so goofy and Uh, dumb dumb. (laughs) we can be very retarded sometimes yeah hey look i get it man i feel like a little dum-dum uh next to you guys sometimes the next sponsor we have is luke belair dude i'm getting to their website right now it's so fancy i think um one of the days that you're here on this trip we tomorrow. need to do a drinking show i would say since we're do heading we out to- tomorrow mm-hmm. night we pregame during yep. the show tomorrow so that was my whole idea me so too like, on the let's way do in. one yes where like we'll either meet the guys out or whatever yes but we'll it'll be fairly early but we can drink yes you guys can see our our drunk girl <laughs> bullshit which i know everyone loves oh yeah love to see a drunk girl listen you just get more bluntness honesty hey uh yeah fun time because we'll keep it civilized like after the show is when we'll get really drunk but yeah. during the show we'll we'll just be getting a little a little, a little loose tipsy. but anyways yeah. we'll have to definitely drink luke belair dot com forward slash drinking bros and that's l u c b e l a i r e dot com by the way do you see underneath it so bougie it says france oh yeah remember, remember episode Product two we were talking about oh, yes. only the only the people who thought they were actually going to go to france yeah. <laughs> took french and only school. the little dumb dumb girls that thought it that going to <laughs> that france was, was just so easy yeah i was going to too that's yeah. i put us in the same boat but where you're like I should oh. take French probably because like when I go, I'm totally going. I'm going to need to like know. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, they speak English everywhere. Yeah. And, <laughs> but and you know you're what? not going, by the way. I get my taste of France yes. right here. And it is product of France. It's not quite champagne because it's not champagne France, but it's basically, you know, the rules. They can't it tastes call amazing. it champagne unless it's from champagne. Bullshit. So oh, it's sparkling. Yeah. Everyone that tried it, I had a little thing at my house this weekend uh-huh. uh, where I smoked some meat. Nice. Yeah. Really nice. I like You did s- it or Ross? Oh, honey. You, girl? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. That's so what I'm talking about. I have about. a smoker. I have a Traeger. I'm like trying out all this stuff. So I did ribs and I did pulled pork. Get and it was like an it. eight hour situation. Yeah. And I have my rubs and my shit. Like I like to smoke meats and uh, bake cakes. Yeah. That's a little something about me. I love it. Um, you can never go wrong with protein and carbs. Right? <laughs> Bake Those a cake? Best. Yes. And smoke some meat. I really, I think if I could eat any food, like I would just be eating meat and then dessert. Dessert. No joke. A salty meat and a sweet dessert yes. and just going back and forth. And no vegetables. <laughs> and no vegetables because that's stupid. Who fucking needs Who those? Who fucking needs it? Anyways, Luke Belair, it was a hit at my party. We had the rosé, we had the lux, and we had the gold. Um, and everyone at some point came up to me and was like, dude, this is really dang. Nice. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, they're a sponsor, but yeah, just because like, you should be like, yeah, I know I'm that fancy. <laughs> I know, but I hate being like, cause it kind of makes you look like, cause they're, you know, they're a, with a, with the discount, you get a good price, but otherwise they're a pretty expensive bottle. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So when you get the box and you get our discount, you can handle it and act like you're there you go. super bougie. So yeah. I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Of course, I buy all these bottles just to for you guys, for everyone, for everyone. I'm like Oprah. You get a bottle, and you, you get, get a bottle. bottle. I know, I did. I was like, take one, because I got a bunch of boxes. I was like, take one with you, dear. It's fine. I like to do is that, that kind of bullshit. rich white yeah. person voice. Oh, hello, oh. darling. Yeah. What is it? Matt? This is my host. Always. My hosting voice. Yeah. Well, it's my like old Holly. It's a cross between like the old Hollywood. Matt makes me say it for dumb stuff. I like, can see that. Oh, hello. How are you? The studio is gorgeous. Look at this. Look what you've done. I love your hair. It reminds me of like Judy Garland. Yeah, yeah. Like it's kind of like the, a Judy yeah. Garland um, bullshit. But anyways. I love it. I love it. What a great hosting voice. I love it. I can't do a whole show like that. You guys will turn it off immediately. But I can sprinkle it in there, there you go. every once in a while. <laughs> well, with um, all the money you save from uh, the Luke Belair, exactly. you can spend it more on uh, Botox and fillers. Okay. <laughs> so this is a topic. So we're getting back in. We're going to delve back into 
topics that we saw on the broettes page right this is, well this is something i get asked i even get asked all the time yeah but i see i do see it on there but this I one specifically it. is from what from, from me mm-hmm. <laughs> from me no it's so funny so i'm 33 and um for the longest time i always had people ask me like oh my gosh like even doing any type of promotion things or even just meeting models they've been like oh my gosh what work have you had done and i'm like nothing right and they were like excuse me and yeah. I'm, you know, seven years older than most of them, eight. Right. And so they were a little bit taken back. And so I didn't, I did not know much about Botox and fillers. I was very uneducated. So of course, when you're uneducated, uneducated you kind of assume a lot of things. So I didn't know if they were good for you, if they were bad for you. I didn't know if it was going like, to keep my face stuck. We still don't really know, stuck. to be honest. Like, yeah. I honestly thought my yeah. face was going to get stuck. Oh, yeah. Because you um, see, the only things that we see, guys, on TV and yes. stuff is people that do it too much too much go mm-hmm. too far and get too out of touch with what they really Reality. look like yeah. yeah 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 so i eventually did look into it because i was starting to notice that my forehead mainly just my forehead was the only thing really getting wrinkles because mm-hmm. i'm very expressive and i'm yeah, yeah, always yeah. lifting Me up too. my forehead and eyes and so i remember the first time i got it i will admit i did not like it the first time i got it um i felt because my, my forehead felt super stiff yeah, yeah, in the yeah. movement and yeah. I, it felt like it couldn't go up anymore and i was like what's and you, like, wrong kept trying yeah like uh, I, know, I know and then i think it's because i never paid that much attention to my face so now i was going to pay more attention to my face because mm-hmm. i got something injected in it right where i start noticing i felt like one eye slumped more than the other or i felt like it pushed down my eyelids mm-hmm. and i want my eyes big and bright yeah, yeah, yeah. so i was just over analyzing stuff and eventually i think it was after like a week and a half two weeks after it kicked in and it was fine like it was good right she had to go in and put like one more little thing because i guess my my left side's stronger than my right okay because she put it even like so this eyebrow would still raise more. well i learned about the eyebrow lift too Did which you? was like this eyebrow lift um with botox oh, okay yeah so it's like just a certain place that they put it to like lift your eyebrow oh, which I was life-changing that. because before that same i felt like uh like i couldn't m- move uh-huh and then it didn't feel like i could like open you didn't feel open natural. my eyes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah you have to definitely you go a couple times Mm -hmm. and you have to find what works for you i guess Mm -hmm. but um it's not as crazy as you think no and well it's not as expensive as i thought either like i didn't need that much yeah should you put like a couple on each side and then like a couple like one or two right here just kind of in my for no one who's actually watching a youtube video it's uh you know in between my eyebrows the 11 or whatever they call it and so what I noticed as I was able to keep that for four or five months yeah. until I saw it disappear because it does. It does. So after it's a while, that's the thing is it's not permanent. Yeah. And you guys, um, you can try it and then, you know, at the very least you'll be at least you can a t- little bit less out. wrinkles for three months and yeah. then you can just stop if you don't like it. And that's the only thing I did notice. It doesn't, it doesn't take away the wrinkles. It just was minimizing me from getting deeper ones from constantly doing those movements over and over again. Yeah. So I got, I just got my second Botox ever, like, I don't know, a month, not even a month ago. And yeah. I was like, this is awesome. But I shared it on my social media, like on Instagram. Yeah. And so many people were like, I can't believe you shared that. And I'm like, well, why? I feel like a lot of people do it, but yeah, they don't well, talk about so it. So that's maybe? the thing is, yeah. I guess once everyone start telling me, um, like all these girls, I didn't know how many people actually did do it, so I was a little bit taken back. So when I did do it, I was like, well, I'm a, I want to let people know because I don't want to hide it. Yeah, and also, you know, on social media, there's always that comparison. Right. Like everyone's always comparing each other with yeah, one another. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, don't do that. Number one, because like you are amazingly you. Mm-hmm. So stop trying to be someone else because you're awesome. But number two, like you don't know what that person's been through or what they've had done or whatever. Um, and so that's why I think I was so honest about it, because as I'm getting older, I don't want people to be like, oh, my gosh, I have to look like that when I get older. It's like, well, I, I mean, I've gotten Botox twice. It doesn't take away anything. Like, don't get me wrong. Like right. good genes help and taking care of your body. Yeah. <laughs> And just like eating, drinking and, water, yeah, sleeping. Yeah, drinking water. Yeah. But um, yeah, then out the, then came everyone out of the woods telling me like so many girls saying, oh my God, I got it done too. And I was like, what? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. People just aren't as open about it. I think most it. people, 30, what do you say? You're 33. That's not, yeah. that's not early, but I think I'd wait until your 30s yeah. for sure. Um, And then why not? Sure. In a well, preventative way. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To be like, because I do see people um, 
someone I know in my family too that started this whole you know trying to fix your face journey very late oh, in life okay. and at a certain at that point it's a little bit too late it's a little bit too late the the amount that you have to do and what you can do with just botox and fillers yeah is you're saying without like a facelift without an something. actual facelift yeah. or without actual like cutting stuff so it'd be interesting to see because then there's like tamra judge from oh yeah real housewives where oh my you're God, just like she looks you look 20 I, I mean you're frozen completely well, she did, frozen she yeah yeah, when she's angry, she's like, but, yeah, nothing rah! moves. Which, like, again, that's fine. Love her. At that age, yeah, 50-something. She did like, get a facelift, I guess, a few years back. Yeah, but I think it was, like, a really, I mean, the minor. good kind, right? And, like, the minor, just, sure. like, the little. But good on her. Exactly. Yeah. And so at her age, where I think she's closer to 60 than she is to 50, uh-huh. Um, she's done it enough that, yeah. like, now... She just needs to do little, little bits things, yeah. right? So that I think is the idea. That's what I'm kind of going for. I can see is that. To at some like to kind of do a little, little, little. So when you do get to the point where you feel like okay, mm-hmm. but I also want to look my Na- age natural. Too. Yes, I'm the same way. So I think that you know when you see those ladies that like look great when mm-hmm. they're like older, very rarely. Is it sure. totally natural? Yes. Just saying. Then when you start, well, because you want to look, you want to look like when s- someone looks at you, right? And they they want, you want someone to go, oh my gosh, you look amazing for your age. And they think that you have aged gracefully. You don't want someone to look at you and think, oh my God, you look am- too amazing for your age, which is very what obviously have you done? you've gotten some work done. Right. You know what I mean? Or like, yeah, you don't want the first thing people to say is yeah. what work have you had done? I think right. it should be like you look great. great and the way that I am the way that it is for me now is someone will say something like right after Botox they'll be like oh my gosh you look so good and then you say I always say and they're like, like what what yeah yeah I always say it too mm-hmm. like my hair I'll be like they're like oh I love your hair I'm like well it's not real yeah I have, I have extensions I don't know why that's my I, first I know me too you know why instinct it's because I want to be so honest with them and I just want to be like oh like I, it's not naturally know. me yeah because you don't ever you want... You can feel this way, too. You yeah. Can, you can have his hair, too. I don't like to get busted, either. So, like, I, I don't like either. to say it first. Oh, yeah. So then they go, oh, what? And then they feel it feel, instead yeah. of, like, looking at me and being like... Correct. Do you have... Can you imagine that if someone was like, oh, my gosh, I love your hair, and you just ran with it, and later on they saw one of your extensions, like one of and the they were like, wait, falls out, and you're wait like, a second, oh, what? <laughs> like, and oh, I just took the compliment. But do you see what I mean? You. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's... I do the exactly. exact same thing. I had and these amazing it, hair extensions like years back and people kept complimenting on my hair. And I just got to the point where I start tagging the salon like almost every yeah, time you in just my go, hair. Because I was like, mine. it's not my real hair. Yeah. Like half of it's fake. And that's another thing too. If you see someone with amazing, luscious, long hair, mm-hmm. eight times out of ten, yeah, it's fake. And that's on this. TV at everything. Even people with short hair that look really thick. Oh, yeah. You can see, like, the tape in, like, anyone on TV or anything like that. Well, the lady it's who just, does my Botox, she she has pretty good hair. And I didn't see her tape-ins until recently when I went for this yeah. last Botox appointment. And I was like, oh. Of course she does, though. Like, you know what I mean? Of course. So, and why not? Yeah. That's the thing. Now, she looks good. So I, remember, so I like the way she looks. I'm very big on when I go into her, I say, hey. What? I want to look natural, like I'm aging gracefully, you know, and I, I get, I, I, the only place I got filler was right here on my smile lines a little okay. bit, just like a little right. bit, because that's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you start to get in the money. Filler is a little bit more guys. expensive than yeah, yeah, Botox yeah. is. And she also was like, hey, do you want to do the really expensive one that lasts a year? Or do you want to do the cheaper one? I was like, well, if this is going to last a year, then sh- shoot it on up. Yeah. Like, do it. Anytime they're going to last, if you know you like it and they're going to. They have like, I think they have a three year one too, which oh is like, oh my gosh, do they? I think, I want to say that I heard that, but um, the year long, I mean, of course do it. Yeah. Just because you will be, even with Botox, like you will be in there every three months. Like you will see it go. Go. Like diminish to where you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And you're like, I need a have you, have you ever been asked before if you had something done, but you didn't? No. No, no. It, I want to get my lips done. Do you see? I have gotten asked only once. I'm sure someone, people ask about your lips. Someone right? assumed if I got my lips done, yeah. like someone made a comment, and I was like, "These are the lips I was born with." Thank you, yeah. asshole. 
like i mean but they're really big so i like them i'm i'm Obviously very happy like with them. them yeah you, should you know be. what i mean they're good they've always been i remember actually i even mentioned to my husband before because i have one like as this, you get older the top one goes. that's crooked mm-hmm. yeah and and i was like you know what maybe i'll just get like a little bit of a filler in one side of the lip just to even out my smile and he goes don't you dare fuck with them and so I was like, that's okay. the one thing ross was like do not do that yeah i think the lips for most people is a giveaway right so the sure i guys can see that don't like my sister has them done fake and, you know and yeah. you're kind of like for us we're like oh cute but i think that's the one thing that guys are like i don't like yeah i could tell that's the one thing that they always point out if you like there's people on tv that have gotten them or something like oh dang but there like, are some girls out there who have very naturally oh, yes. luscious lips though yes you know so there was, I think the person was trying to say it. It was an online individual, probably like a troll that was like, oh, I didn't know you can have lip injections in the military. And I was like, well, number one, these are my natural lips. So number two, yes, you can. Oh, you can, right? <laughs> yes, you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So clearly there's a lot of people that do. So I know. Anyway, that eyelash extensions. Yeah. Because you want to look cute without... Yep. putting on makeup mm-hmm. just don't go crazy with eyelash extensions if you're in the military though I, that's the only advice i'd give why you know in the i don't know how it is in the army and marines and navy i think the navy is probably the only one that's probably less strict than the air force is but it's, it talks about like your appearance not distracting not being distracting and not being faddish and taking away right if you have like the super thick long black like tarantula looking eyelashes okay. yeah 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 i would okay. probably suggest that that's probably not the best idea for military like have a more lo- natural looking you know like okay sadly that's just one of the things that you have to deal with being in the military it's the same thing with your nail color or with your hair color you know it has to be tamed and so, it can't it can't be distracting you're saying no it sh- yeah, can't yeah, be yeah. distracting okay so that's the only thing Those i would are recommend very distracting especially if you're not wearing anything else and Correct. you get them really long like you can always tell correct that people have them and that they're fake so yeah. they would be distracting yeah i get that and i know like at least for me whenever i would go out to the field um and when we tell have our students go out to the field for survival training it was like you, you don't wear any makeup and you also told not to wear any makeup the right. last thing we want is so i mean your eyelashes are there naturally to help keep stuff out of your eyes Right. Yeah. So if you have them so long where they can't work as quickly or as well as they normally should. They do, dude. And they and will like, mess your eyes up. You're doing too. a lot of stuff yeah, out yeah, in the yeah. woods where stuff is constantly getting in your eyes. Yeah, like, we've had injuries before because of it. And how embarrassing. Sure. If that was why. Yeah. You set us back like <laughs> 10 years, right? She got an eyelash injury right. and had to. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like fucking a <laughs> but i mean they look great they're not for me totally uh like i've tried to get them before but i'm so lazy with them i think that's my problem i'm not consistent so i'll let them fall out and well i'll and have like you're... three or four that look yeah yeah, like yeah. Little oh yeah, yeah yeah me too <laughs> I look awful and then Definitely. they just get filled Same and they're expensive me. now yeah uh screw that yeah super expensive yeah and they are like they're just not a great solution i know there's some people that love them but oh, sure. for me it was like way better to just Tape them on the fuck yeah, on like on, when yeah. you want to and take them off when exactly. you want to be able to see. I say um, I like yours that you have on right now. Thank you. They're very natural looking. They're a strip. Yeah. That makes it easier. There's some Writing. times where I'd rather just put a strip on than a ton of mascara. Yeah. Like if I just did today and clump it on. <laughs> hey, look. You have long lashes though. I have like <laughs> nothing. I think from years of putting eyelashes on. That's what I'm afraid of. That's why I've noticed if I have if the glue does not come off on my eyelashes at night and it'll end up staying on for like a few days. I notice that my eyelashes kind of like it stunts the growth. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah, definitely. So the things that we notice with that. Um, no. So what else is fake on us? We have real boobs, um, right? Yeah. I did Both get asked us. one time if I had fake boobs when I was a little bit <laughs> gained some weight. <laughs> nice. You're like, well, there's a couple girls that are like, did you get boob implants? I was like. I wish you should see nope. my gut. I got bagel <laughs> implants into my mouth. I didn't even do my cars. <laughs> Thanks for that. I got burger implants. Yeah. No, that's really about it. I got a little bit. I second thing of Botox. I only got filler once, and then my I get like little tape in hair and it's like extensions. Right. Yeah, that's it. It's be easier to count the things that are real on me. Than yeah, fake. like my stretch right? marks are super real. Tote, totes real. Um. Uh, yeah. So hair dyed and fake oh lashes fake 
skin tanned artificially sometimes bronzered yeah uh i mean yeah I, I typically wear makeup daily but not i don't wear as much as i used to before because my acne like i don't have adult not as much adult acne anymore but it was pretty bad for a while where your skin's like and you oh wait did you get it was, last time i saw you you got a laser can i say oh that? yeah yeah i got i didn't get did a laser like i got um skin what was it no i got chemical uh, peel i got a chemical peel one time oh that was terrible was it it looked like when you because you came into the show i came in the day and after, it like literally looked so, it looked like i had a sunburn it was a little bit of color but it looked very like tight Oh, it was. You know, well, the problem was is Which that is it starts to peel, right? So when I was at dinner with Dan and Ross, all okay. of a sudden it start peeling as we're eating dinner. Like I can feel it on my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kept like getting worried about it. And Ross was like, "No, no, 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 you're fine." You and couldn't then, see. Finally, but at dinner though, because the more I kept talking, skin starts to actually peel. And Ross was like, "Hey, uh, pe skin's peeling off your face. If you want to leave, oh right my now. gosh." And I was like, well, "Yeah," because we were done anyway. Oh, okay, it like, was you want to so go? So embarrassing. Have you seen nice this one? The thing from Fantastic Four. Do you remember Fantastic Four? Like that big thing who's like the yeah, rock yeah, yeah. looking thing? Yeah. That's what I looked like when and it, it just all started, started to peel. <laughs> yep. Cracking. It all started cracking. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know why I had the great idea of like hosting like a little girls get together on like Fort Bragg. Like it was just like a little workout and meetup. And uh, my face looked like shit. Yeah. You're all, hey. You know how like when people see people off social media and they see them in person, they're like, oh, they don't oh, look the wow. same. I had yeah. to be like, listen, I actually don't look this bad. <laughs> look. Nice. But I think the most embarrassing thing was going through the front gate or the like the uh, side gate. And they have like the little ID uh, card scanner. So I was like, thank heavens for this. Yeah. Right. Because at Army bases, you just scan your card and go. Yeah. It was not registering my card so like the one had time to like so i had to pull forward to the guy and the guy's staring at me like he's seen a ghost and he like awkwardly is like fiddling with my car <laughs> like, like really scared her face is falling off and her I face like, is falling off yeah and i was so i didn't know what to say or do i'm like internally like laughing super hard and he hands me back my id card and he won't even look me in the eyes and i went chemical peel and i like drove off <laughs> nice <laughs> I was like, just I so that he didn't do. think you were had an in disease. fact a ghost or yeah had an, like had he probably thought disease. i had some infectious he was like this is leprosy i've never seen it before yeah but this is leprosy i do remember seeing one person like in the first couple of days of appeal oh it's and bad. it yeah i, think I would she not had to still again. work and like but it looks great after doesn't it or it is it okay. not worth it it highlighted my scars a little bit more because i had a lot of like uh, scars and pigmentation from all my acne and like okay just over the years because i didn't start getting adult acne until i was probably about like 28 29 and it got like it wasn't bad but i never had acne my whole life so right. it was very confusing time yeah, for yeah, me yeah. so i tried everything under the sun that was okay what helped the most was microneedling i loved microneedling Dude, i heard heard microneedling is the shit, oh it was dude. great it didn't hurt that much um apparently my skin reacted really well to it um it builds up boosts your collagen it helps with dark spots and scars and marks and by the way downtime is only like not even two days and it feels like you just got like a sunburn and your skin gets barely dry and you you're don't not look like a monster correct you're okay. not out for a whole week okay where you are before cool yeah so that's what i would recommend yeah i might do that for that so that was nice. Those are the only things I get because I have, was it called melasma? Melasma? Oh, melasma? It's like, yeah, melasma. something like that where you have darker mm -hmm. pigmentation around, at least Pregnant for me, women yeah. get it. And it well, because I guess this was hormones and stuff with an, an over amount of estrogen. Mm -hmm. But I get it up here um, between my brows and then over my top lip. And so they were going to do this laser treatment on me, um, which is really expensive, but apparently it's, um, you know, a miracle worker. But they can't do it because... Um, heat makes your melasma grow more so, and gets darker. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what they were telling me. So, oh, yeah, I guess when I'm like, go in the sun, sun. it gets worse. That's yeah, what they yeah. said But it just blends in with all the fucking freckles that I have I anyways. love freckles. I have a shit ton. I wish I had freckles. Really? Do you see people put on fake freckles? Yeah, because they're placing them perfectly. If you really have <laughs> freckles, it's like fucking everywhere. It's I'm not cute. <laughs> So they put, I don't know what they put them on. Oh, henna. They put them on with henna before. But yeah. I've also seen someone spray them on with. Uh, oh, yes. Have you seen that? Yeah. I've with seen. like hair dye. Hair yeah. dye root spray. Yeah. They put on their face. And some girl, the spray like 
of course did not work well of course and she had like it looked like a brown turd just she just like smeared, sprayed the whole thing <laughs> smeared oh, on I her cheeks i love it i love the it. things that we do i know you know you know what would be fun for us to do one time is what? like a drunken makeup tutorial <laughs> people yes would love it i think you know i've been wanting to do a video of is me doing a makeup video and then my husband doing the tutorial like the words have you seen that one uh, there I've is there is one seen something similar like yeah. just like a quick one of the guy like talking about the concealer but i thought it'd, it'd be, be funny because really funny my husband has no idea about no, any of that he'll stuff. be like mm, i don't know what she's fucking doing right now yeah and there's no point <laughs> is basically what the guy's like but i like hearing the shit they come up with like, yeah yeah so they're gonna use this little paintbrush looking stick and yeah, they're gonna yeah, rub yeah. it under they're their eyeballs more the fucking bullshit yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what this guy said. It's really funny. You should do it. Yeah. Wait, so you tell me um, blonde is not your natural hair color? What? Is blonde not your natural hair color? No. Is it um, what? Ash brown? This. Yeah. So it's like... Um, it's light brown. We we might have the same light color. I have really light brown hair. Really light brown. Yeah. yeah. So and I dye mine dark. In, in like the sun, yeah. it gets really bright, but mm -hmm. year round, a light brown. Just like an ugly dishwater, uh, just BS. It looks great. It was like though. Taylor Swift was doing that fucking color that oh, was like not yeah, blonde, yeah. not brown. That's what it is. It's like meh. Oh, that you know it's kind of like boring. No, I know what it's you're just talking boring. About. That's like, how I feel. Not, mine is yeah. It's like ashy. My yeah, like you know, there's just it's the same with uh, Botox and fillers, right? Like you will get left behind in this world. Like unfortunately, right? Yeah, unless you are just this complete natural amazing beauty that and you're by, born yeah. with like good you know, for you but also fuck you. you fuck you <laughs> like, but for the most part which these like people are starting botox and fillers at 18 19 geez, that's so, so like we will get left behind oh, you've sure. got to if you want to you know keep up with these bs you gotta fucking dye your hair you gotta yeah. do all the shit or not look you don't have to. No. I'm just saying like. I didn't dye my hair actually for a really long time. And then once I went to the military is when I went crazy with it. Yeah. I loved it. But I also did box dye. So then finally, that was a bad idea. So yeah, then, no. yeah. But once everyone I starts with the box pros, dye. So did I. Yeah. Yeah. What colors have you been? Been anything crazy? Yeah. So when I was younger, up until, shit, up until like 30, I probably did. Uh, I did this movie, Helen Keller. I was really dark red. Uh, oh, wow. Like a dark, dark red. And then before that, I've done like bright red. I did like, you know, copper, blonde, dark mm -hmm. brown, black, black. I went oh, through yeah. that whole I fucking that. shit. Yeah. Um, and yeah, kind of landed on just this. It's blonde. Yeah. I think it looks great on you. Thanks. I like yours too. You know what? I've... So I didn't go anything crazy until I got divorced. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I have something in my eyeball. This yeah, me too. Insane. Really? I yeah, saw but I always do, do it because the same I have time. these 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 lashes. Um, we out Sorry, in these folks. streets. But uh, Look, it was whatever happens things, on the show, I know, right? On the show. Oh yeah, this it is does. real life. Okay. <laughs> what was it? I wanted to go. Do you know Jennifer Lopez's color? It's like this beautiful caramel. Of course. Oh, doesn't been, work on everyone. No, but I've been sure. wanting that like since 2013 okay and so my hairstylist who i loved was like i'll get you there but i'm just gonna let you know right now your hair's brown so i'm gonna have to bleach it <gasps> so she it's because she was gonna make it lighter brown my yeah, hair was very dark could brown just highlight it no now. she oh. we went straight because i'm oh, very you, impatient and so you're so, like i want it now I, she was just like i'll get it for you and i was going through the divorce and like, right i wanted something different sure <laughs> Like, listen, you're out of my life, so my life's different. My Watch hair will be out, different. World. Yeah, here I come. Here I come. And, and uh, cut to turn what? to be red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the best part is when you work with all men, um, they will tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. At least my guys did. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I liked it. I thought it still looked good. It was like a strawberry blonde. It didn't turn out completely caramel, but whatever. And I got to work, and I was working interrogations at the time, you know. So um, a couple of the guys came up to me, and they were like, Comrade Zelga, which was like my comrade yes. name. And I was like, yeah, so like, you look like one of those orange street cones. And I was like, fuck, fuck you. you. But like look, the biggest fuck you <laughs> of that I can give you. Like, really? I totally see the 
color right now because anytime you bleach someone's brown hair yeah it just goes orange it's just the level yeah. of like what you need to get to or you needed to bleach it like two times so I like know the it exact really, color yeah. and then when you put color on top of it to make it caramel it washes out completely because your hair is super porous it was right? even brighter before I remember when I first took a picture of it I was yeah. like this, there's no fucking way that I'm I love you but I'm but, uh-uh. paying for this like yeah and then she put like the toners and everything in yeah but I don't those know, the magic. wash out like yep. those are just to get you I used to be a hairstylist so those are just to get you out oh, the door uh-huh. without you getting super pissed but the toners will wash out like in a week yeah but by then you'll be like oh it's just like me you know what yeah, I mean yeah you're like so oh, you're I'll not just like, embrace oh it. it's not her fault yeah she made it look good. It was oh, my fault. So. so now you gave me the secrets. Oh, I'll we'll give you all the secrets. Wow. Well, I showed Dan it the other day because we were even talking about redheads. And I was like, I was a redhead once. Yeah. And he was like, let me see this monstrosity. And then he was like, you're actually pretty good as yeah, a redhead. I mean, I'm sure. It wasn't bad. I also went you blonde You can get once. away with all kinds of stuff, thankfully. But like, you know. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that's, that's not, definitely not my color. Blonde wasn't my color either. It's either darker brown or yeah. like a black is, is my color. Definitely. So, and I have a Czech background, like Czechoslovakian. So when I actually jumped with Czech guys before, they saw my maiden name because this was back before I was married. And they were like, yeah. are you, are you Czech? I was like, yeah. I am. Yes. And they were like, you know what would make you look more Czech and bring out your green eyes is if you dyed your hair darker. And ever since then, I've just kept it dark. I have one story of a Czech girl that I knew yeah. and I loved her but I bartended with her in LA at this place called Yield Rustic Inn visit it's it's the one of the last dive bars in LA that's like an actual dive, dive bar, bar. Uh-huh. But anyways we bartended together and her she was like real like with the accent and everything right yeah and so we would be complaining about stuff like our dumb girl shit and she would come over and just say well at least you don't have retarded baby <laughs> and walk away and I'm like I love you because you're so right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, you don't know what I've fucking seen. Right. She's yeah. like full on like the she's real like, deal. Like worse. she was like, you know, shooting guns when she was like, you know, 12. But anyway. Yeah. I love it. It's the one thing. So, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Well, one of my. I could see that for you. That's funny because one of my really good friends in California, one of my best friends in California, she's Czech. What was her name? Alex. I guess. Oh, okay. it's not. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's funny because she saw my, my dad's mom, my grandmother yeah. and she went, Oh my gosh, she's Czech. And I was like, she is. And then that was when she's like, what's your last name? And I was like, Zoldic. And she was like, oh. and we just became yeah, really yeah, good yeah. friends. Yeah. She was awesome. I know. That's one thing I love about Alex too. She's very blunt. Very blunt. Very straightforward. Doesn't no sugarcoat bullshit. things. Yeah. yeah. And like, again, those are qualities that I need yeah. in my friends. And she was super hot too. Like you guys are just all like. I don't know. You have I say this. Alex is very exotically yes. pretty. Yeah. Like she has these gorgeous eyes that are just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Alex is very voluptuous. Like black dudes love her. Right. And she loves the black dudes. Well, good. So a, because beautiful. they only have white guys apparently over in check. So she's yeah. just like, give me, give all me, of give it. me, <laughs> give me all the she's black got, guys. She's got big old booty. She's yep. got tiny waist. She's got big old boobs. Like she's gorgeous. Love I'm like, it. get it girl. And then Love there's it. me. Who has to eat like fifteen stuffed croissants to get a butt? Really? Yeah, that's why we you don't think I fucking them. feel bad for you, Tiffany. <laughs> anyway, um, what? Um, uh, hot girl problems. Dickhead. Shut up. <laughs> What's the next thing? <laughs> um. Oh well, th- there is a inquiry on the best chapsticks, and then also what to do for tr- dry skin. Okay. So for me, I don't know how many like. Well, California wasn't that dry. But I go to Vegas at least twice a year for work. And, and that here environment. here in the winter. Dude. Oh, yeah. Here in the winter is awful. Dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My lips got so chapped when I was out in Vegas last time that I picked them because I was really embarrassed of all the dead skin so on you, it. And they got super red. But it's it, a losing battle, right? Oh, so you it like was. It's almost like plucking, too much plucking yep. of the eyebrows. Like once you start. Then you just like well, it the keeps thing is coming too, off. It was like yeah. the dry stuff would come off, but then I would start to pick, and then it would actually start ripping like the skin, yeah. and it would start bleeding. And I, it looked like I just had like an outbreak of herpes all yeah. over my lips. Yeah. And I was like, I swear I don't have you it. You were a meth head that and had herpes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I asked our medic, who was a chick, thank God. I said, listen, I've been using like all these different types of chapsticks to try to help my lips. I've been living with this for the last week. What should I use? And she goes, I'm telling you right now, the only thing that's going to work for you 
is Burt's Bees, and it has to be like the original yeah. Burt's Bees. And I was like, okay, like I pray oh my to gosh, God I this think works. I, I think I uh, post or I answered in that. Did post you too? Yeah, that yeah. was like Burt's Bees tinted. If you want like a good, yeah, a good little everyday glow. wear yeah. thing, yeah. And I'm telling you, within two days, my lips were back to normal, and yeah. I was like, oh, thank God, hallelujah! Yeah. Like yeah. I don't look bad anymore. Yeah, you know how, you know how when people you have something on your face. And you hope people don't look at it, but then you see them keep eyeing it when they look at you. People kept staring at my mouth. And I was like, yep. this is really uncomfortable. And even if they weren't, you thought they were, and that was good enough. Correct. Do you know what I mean? It's a good, it's, it's enough to like change your whole yeah. demeanor. If you, as long as you think someone's looking at your stuff. Yeah. Although they usually aren't, to be honest with true. you. True. But that is with very the true. lips, I will say, I think they are. Oh, so yeah. with, if you have like a sty in your eye or you have something on your lip, yes, yeah, people look. are looking. You know what I think about chapstick, though? And I always wonder if this is actually true. Maybe with some brands it is. They put something in the product where it does moisturize your lips, and it helps out. But then all of a sudden your lips get dry, so it needs it more. And they, like, purposely put something in the product, so you need more of it to keep your lips moisturized yeah, well, so that you're addicted to chapstick. Well, the idea is that it's going to come from stuff within right so yeah if like enough water enough water <laughs> enough fish oils enough vitamin e do you know Are what you i mean saying to drink water so wait a minute <laughs> i know That's we want to blame idea. every and look i would love to blame everything on big industry yeah. and like i i'm all for a conspiracy with medication and chapstick and oh, all of that sure, yeah but there's some things that you could totally heal with things that we don't want to do you know yeah like, like drinking water drinking water vitamin collagens uh yeah. fish oils things oh, that's that omega-3s that, like, like stuff collagen like this but it's just too it's easier to just right it is sometimes um, i will notice outside. though that my lips are a lot um plumper when i drink water absolutely and then of course when you do the little um scrub yes yeah when i do that i even have like this this little lip scrub brush that I'll use from time to time and I'll put that on with chapstick and I'm like, I can, I can win the world right now. Yeah. With these big old oh, lips. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. But yeah, so that's what I use for chapstick. I don't know about you. Yeah. I, um, yes, I use. And as much as I like lip plumper cause it makes their lips look big. I feel like it dries my lips out. Really drying and only works for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I use Burt Be Burt's Bees, the thin, the yeah, skinny I one, like those ones too. tinted. Um, that almost more, I feel like the other ones are too waxy for me. I okay. mean, this will be the last that we'll say about it. Sorry. But uh, it's too like just straight waxy. But those tinted ones are a lot more oily if that makes sense mm -hmm. so that they're not just covering it up i feel like it actually penetrates yeah but anyways what about but the point is when i do have dry lips i go well i'm obviously not drinking enough water or not doing this and this so i try those first and then use you know yeah. some kind of vaseline to help oh i've used vaseline before because it's more Cause penetrating lips, yeah. more vitamin e really penetrating instead of just sitting on the top waxy right mm -hmm. yeah what about for dry skin Mm. obviously you use something different for your face than you do your body yeah so i think i find well cerave is a good one if you have really okay. really dry skin so i saw that on tiktok there's a, um, a plastic surgeon surgeon on there who was like recommending different ways to stay young he was doing tiktoks about them and okay. like cerave was one of the lotions that he mentioned at least for the face for the face yeah it was some type of lotion i forget exactly what it was i took i remember i took like i Please, saved the video let me know. but i was like oh i had no idea well, all the CeraVe products, I think you can find at Rite Aid or CBS now. Yeah. And just look at Walgreens, through yeah. those. And it's, um, it, they've kind of been around forever. It's one of those like oil of Olay, you know, where you're mm -hmm. just like, they've been around forever. So I use like L'Oreal collagen day night thing for my face. I've been using it since I'm like 16. Do you know really? what I mean? Just like and the you same can still one. Use it. But I will say there's one thing that I will brag about is that I've never had any skin issues. Well, so nice. if somebody asks me like, oh, what do you do? I just have to like, as shitty as it sounds, be like, like I, just I don't know if I'm the one to tell you. Like, yeah. I'll ask you <laughs> how I could lose weight, how I could do this, <laughs> da, da, da. But the one thing that has just, I've never had to really work at is skin stuff, either dry or acne so you or have anything just like, like that really yeah good for you so i've just used the same stuff 
and maybe that's why I, it's like some not um superstitious but i'm just like well it's working yes whatever it is so i use the same thing from when however old see but that's how i am too like i never changed i used burt's bees i used their like scrub yeah i had they had like acne scrub and they had just like a normal like apricot scrub and i used those since i was super young like in the military all the way up till i was in my 30s yeah and i realized it wasn't working for me anymore that and i used to just get like oil from trader joe's for yeah. lotion yeah yeah but because you can i could at the time my face ever broke out it would be oily oily, but i didn't care <laughs> then you have to start thinking yeah, about it but then like, all of a sudden like i start talking to people and they're like listen your skin like you're probably gonna be having to change your skin routine like every 10 years because your skin's going through a whole new different like purge and i will say it changed um makeup so Did the you? one thing that i've like bumped up since 16 20 whatever is quality and uh ingredients in makeup right because i just wear it every day so it has to be something that's really light really natural really Mm -hmm. good whatever so what do you use for your face then so i use Too faced i love nars yeah Yeah. i like Too faced too yeah because they have like a really thin you know what i mean yeah and then chanel if you want to get crazy and spend a bunch of money not that i have but i've used it and it's like the most amazing thing ever but it's so expensive that i don't want to get into the habit of using it yeah so i've like used friends before or people have put it on me and i'm like oh my god this is amazing yeah so if you have older skin yeah if you do have older skin and you want to invest in it See, I have so much makeup. Literally, I have zero self-control when I go into Sephora or Ulta. Like, I go in there and I'm like, you're going in for one thing. You're going in for, you're going literally in just for spray. Just go in and yeah. out and then I'll come out three, four hundred dollars later. And they're like, you want to put this on your rewards card? And they're like, you have thousands of points. I'm like, I know. I know. Because I'm always in here getting shit I don't need. It's safe. Trying out something nothing. else. Because <laughs> I just come right back in and spend it again. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What else? Do we have anything gross? Do you have anything gross in there? Uh, not really gross, but they were not talking gross, about the best sex toys. Oh. That was another one. Well, you know what's funny is I saw someone had a, uh, posted a picture of a butt plug oh, okay. that was in there. But we it talked had, about that episode yeah, one. Yeah, episode one. And um, you know like those little door stoppers? Like, bling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was on the end oh of my butt God. plug. Can you imagine? There you go. No, I like that. If you're like fucking some dude. A little like. Or your hubs. Because then it could vibrate and it then a little just, bit. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of if that. If you shake that, then it, like, vibrates it a little bit. That's good. See, because you can stop it. Yeah. And start it without the button. I like it. Because the button, obviously, would be probably a little bit more well, intense. Turn, probably, yeah. yeah. On the cruise, there was a girl who had a voice-activated butt plug-in on stage, and her boyfriend had the phone and then they passed it around to different oh i people heard that in the audience. Yep, they told yeah. me that mm-hmm. so that's just like a little taste voice into like, you know what i've always wanted to do you know how you what? see them in the movies where like you put on the, um vibrating panties yeah and then like your man has at the table yeah you yeah that yeah they're on and then yeah. he like makes you totally orgasm at the table i'm like can we do that <laughs> yeah you want to do that i kind of wanted to with him like that'd be fun and yeah then just us go fuck in the family bathroom if they have Wait, one sorry where is this I don't be, know, like, like an Olive Garden room, or but something. If, if they have a family restroom that like locks that the families can go in, we just you know. So an Olive Garden. Do it. Is that? Do they have those? I think so. Yeah. Listen, so I will be eating a breadstick while he's around. fucking me from behind. Girl. In the bathroom. It sounds I have good no in shame. theory. In practice, I would love to hear. You need to go and do some work in the field on this. Come back. Tell us how it really. Well, we have sex in fun places though. That's like awesome. all the time. Like, That's awesome. Uh, like we would be on a hike in. Okay, so Death Valley. We fucked in like a little cr- cravat, crevasse in Death Valley. Doesn't sound fun at all. Um, it was hot as shit. Yeah, that sounds awful, um, Tiffany. But we were horny. <laughs> sure. Horny. Horny. Um, Not to be confused with <laughs> horny. Horse. Yeah. <laughs> we were uh, whores. I'm a whore for my husband. Sure. Um, we did it on an island in Mexico Horse for once. husbands. Oh, my gosh. Right? Whores for husbands. We're whores for husbands. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, our husbands. Sorry. Our Not husbands. all of them. No. Gosh. Um, yeah, an island in Mexico. And by the way, like, if you look up the most gorgeous place in the world on Pinterest, this island would pop up. That's okay. where we fucked. And okay. But, that. like, on the sand or? Yeah. So, there's it's all surrounded by water. And we went, yeah, into the sand. It wasn't like okay, I was again, standing up. This so all these awful, Tiffany. Nope, all these again have been me like standing bent over and okay. you know, kind of like So you're not it. getting sand or anything. Nope, I'm not getting sand okay. on it. Nope. 
and then truck stops we've done before okay you know again wow not in the bathroom but like uh-huh. outside in the <laughs> sure any uh, clean at places night? or just all dirty <laughs> gross places um is that what kind of you guys we like? On the, like the river. Ooh, a gas like. station bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> no, no bathrooms. Okay. No, it was outside. You, where's the truck stop happening? Outside? It's, yeah, it's like, you know, like the side truck stops where like they pull over mm-hmm. and they just like maybe go nap and there's like a bathroom, but then there's like overhangs and it's dark and there's like trees and shit. We just went near one of the overhangs. I had my toy in my purse and we just you went over toy there. Toy in your purse? Yeah. I kept my vibrator in my purse. Okay, so he's like from behind and then you have yeah. the vibrator. Yeah. So it's just like an easy, yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, we're like, I was like, because the thing is, I can give Roadhead all day, but then at the same time, like, I want to appreciate it too and right. enjoy it. So he was just like, hey, we can pull over right here. And it's like, okay, let's do it. No one was there. Yeah. You know, like we hid behind something. It was fun because you're like, oh, like, are we yeah, going to get yeah, caught? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's um, see. So any places that um, maybe other people would find sexy too, or just those <laughs> gross, dirty places that you're talking about? Listen, I'm a survival instructor. No, I know. <laughs> He's a special person. Any place like, like um, I don't know. Like hot tubs or? No, hot tub is not good. Um, pools? Gross. <laughs> Tiffany, God. <laughs> All right, never mind. Um, what do you What do you want to talk about? Like on the cloud? I don't like. Yeah. What? Do you want? Like, yeah. Have you like Mile High Club? Um, no, isn't it? I feel like that's gross. In those shitty small bathrooms yeah, maybe where you're everyone right. literally has like the nervous plane shits. I guess I'm just thinking like the places that you're saying aren't good. <laughs> I think they're good. <laughs> Clearly. Um, I don't know. Like I would have. To, oh, I've done it on a. Um, inflatable like on the on the lake before we had a huge blow up um flamingo and uh-huh. him and i were on it and he just fucked me on that in the middle of a lake gosh i would love for you to just <laughs> say one thing that other people can like <laughs> oh oh wait one time we saw this like homeless shelter type of place and like there was just a mattress outside and we were like yeah let's just fucking no, do it that. all these things are clean or i'm standing i mean i guess they're clean you're saying oh, they're clean but once you say it out loud it's no, kind of like think they're fine people are right. like people would probably be like oh that's awesome they so do we it. had <laughs> truck stop we had beach uh-huh. sand we had cr- hot ass crevice on a hike in death valley up on a ridge up on a ridge that was so fun all right well <laughs> listen i'm outdoorsy okay i'm an outdoorsy what kind of gal like you outdoors. sound like nature you and nature pimp would have gotten along <laughs> right nature pimp would have gotten we you probably would have uh, he would have i've been he like, went for the wrong gal i know I guess. he did go for the wrong like, gal. what about me made him think like yep She'd be down for. I don't know. I don't know. Well, wait, wait, wait. So since you're ridiculing me no, for I all know, my I luxurious can't. spots, where have you been? That's been so any weird ones. No, epic. it's it's, be, it's not. I, like didn't, but I didn't say that. I didn't oh. say I had. We did anything. Have you done them like multiple places in your house, like kitchen countertop, closet? Um, Definitely closet, laundry room. Yeah. Um, we've done it so many times in our like at bars, like nicer ones where you're like you just go in there and have to. Like is is a bar restroom really nicer? Um, the ones that we went to, I've never like done in, in a bathroom LA. yet. Really? Yeah. So I feel like you're the gross one now. <laughs> I probably am the gross one. Now that we like are saying it, right? No, I'm the it's not sick bad. One. Listen, if you when yeah, you're just the, like, when here's you're the, the thing, moment, I don't want to be like out where I don't want to be where someone could can like, catch you? walk up on me. Oh, uh, that we can, maybe sounds that's like it. it's yeah. It sounds like that's part of your whole shit. But we're really we're pretty good at it. I mean, I okay, teach people yeah, to yeah. evade yeah. and hide for a living. So I've done it like on um the lifeguard tower. Oh, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, but uh, it sounds like that's your fucking jam, and I'm not. You it's know, not like we just do it. It's not like we do it all the time. You know what I mean? But like, if you're getting hot, and we bothered. take it. Well, I think one of the funniest ones was, was when we visited my parents uh, just this July. And they took us, my dad loves doing river floats. Like we grew up doing it all the time. And so Chris and I had paddled like way before and we were all like drinking like a lot. Okay. And like, I didn't want to drink go. a lot, but I now have younger, here's the answer. I have younger siblings that were like, do shots. And they were like, feed me fireball. And I was yeah. like, no. And my mom, my mom took a shot of fireball and she looked at me. She's like, stop being a pussy. And I went, oh, gee. 
You're yes, strict mom. ass I'm, mom. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, like, she was strict. Not anymore. Not anymore. I, yes. Now you guys are cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. But I was like, yes, mother, and I just start taking shots. So anyway, I'm horny now. Sure. Right. And so him well, and I fireball, stop. So. And there's like a whole group of people, and we go back into the woods to pee, which we did pee. But then I was just like, hey, you wanna really quick? And he yeah, was like, I just okay. peed. You're so, so gross. Ran dude. out. <laughs> dingle dangle drive. Hey, I just Put peed. Are you ready? <laughs> God, Tiffany. And so we ran out. And of course, yeah. I'm laughing. Sure. And my little brother and sister are like, they just fucked. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, no, we peed. See, this all sounds like a and nightmare to me. All the people are like, what? <laughs> No, nope, this funny. is a nightmare. It's my personal nightmare. And my mom's laughing, and my dad's kind of like, "Wait, th- wait, what's true? Like, I don't yeah. want to know." But since the kids are, you're like, "No, no." So you, well, my you brother and sister are 26 and 22, so you know they're yeah, yeah, all yeah. older. It's not like we're hiding anything, so it was kind of funny. We just laughed and like just pat- paddled along. Oh my god! I know that's what you do. I grew up in Missouri. Maybe this is a Missouri thing. Like you go pee in the woods, or you just have sex at truck in- stops. Yeah, yeah man. truck stops. Yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> well, you're not in Missouri anymore, okay? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You know I'm fucking with you. I know. Um, well, dang, we've just been... So we've got some more topics on there. We'll maybe get to them um, next show. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the point in the show where we get to the drinking bro at of the week. I'm going to nominate this week. Until awesome. we get your guys' nominations on the broettes page or on our podcast page um we're just going to kind of nominate people that we like and love in the community um so i am nominating mary dag wonder nubs do you know her why does she sound familiar so she was in uh range 15 with me okay she was a a bomb specialist eod yeah okay and she got uh both her arms blown off but like the last person that we nominated last week Tesla. was a, yeah yeah super positive she her um facebook is wonder nubs her license plate is wonder nubs. i love it like, she's embracing she's, it yeah gorgeous she parties she's just fucking cool as shit super positive has a great story and is just like i don't know a cool bitch in the in the uh, she seems like community. my type of girl yeah and really involved too in the broettes and the drinking bros mm-hmm. and has come to a bunch of events and is just the fucking shit so mary you we rock love you yeah you rock cheers to you um this was this was fun yeah we should do it again yes i'm jesse wiseman uh this is tiffany, tiffany hart. hart she yeah. is real military i just play one on tv <laughs> we love you guys yes and we will see you soon signing out <laughs> yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl i'm moving on yeah don't y'all better things to do